I'm reading to you from the authorized version of the scriptures. <laughs> this isn't funny, but... Uh, uh, I'm reading to you from the authorized version of the scriptures. And... Um, <clears throat> from Titus, chapter 3, verses 9 on to verse 11. Titus chapter 3, verses 9 on to verse 11. But avoid foolish... What does it mean to be foolish? The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Okay? So to be foolish is to behave, live, think as if there is no God. Okay? So... But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man, or a woman, <laughs> a man that is a heretic, after the first and second admonition, reject. <laughs> Knowing, brethren, that he that is such is subverted, and sinneth, being condemned of himself. And from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, craftiness, oh, kind of like witchcraft, <laughs> okay? Nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience and conscience in the sight of God. Well, see, it says by manifestation of the truth, these people who are against the scriptures, like Final Call 07 here. This guy, by the way, is dead and is in hell. This guy uh, started out, I believe, in 2008, the forerunner to that satanic devil Jezebel witch, uh, <laughs> Diana of the Ephesians, the great goddess Diana of the Ephesians. You know, Bible is work of beast. He is the forerunner to, onto that foul woman. And I understand, too, that her husband has died. And I'm sorry to say this, but that woman's husband is in hell with his brother, Jean Boshoff. Okay? You, you speak against the word of God, the word of God, mm, you're in danger. And you're going to see something. Now, this guy's, this guy's long gone, and he has um, several people. Um, oh, I, I forget what some of his followers were. Um, I, I forget. I forget. But uh, there's, this guy spawned a whole bunch of followers himself. And, um, but see, he was the forerunner here to those who will be speaking against the scriptures, like Bible is work of beast, and all that sick witches. Uh, devoted disciples. Okay? This is the forerunner. But, verse 3, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. There's a, there was a guy in one of the comment sections, and the comment section of the one video that the Lord had me to do, refuting, rebuking that devil witch, put the book down, okay? And there was another one, Narrow Path uh, Wayfinder or something like that. And there was another idiot um, whose channel, uh, Mercy Mission something, total idiot. Okay, these people are idiots, Okay, hey, put the, uh, put the Bible down or put the book down, you narrow path finder and you mercy mission. You guys are a bunch of idiots. You're a bunch of idiots. 
What is an idiot? Someone who is void of logic and reason. Okay? You're idiots. That woman, Jezebel, has bewitched you and you are under, your, under her spell. Okay? You are taken with her sorcery, with her witchcraft. And brethren, we have to remember this. With people like that, the, the devoted followers of this devil who is in hell, and that witch and her devoted followers, those who have given themselves over to that sickness, to that lie, there's not much we can do with those people. There's not much we can do for those people. They're lost. Hey, you, put the book down. Hey, you, narrow path. Finder or whatever, and hey, you, you idiot, with uh, mercy missions or whatever you're called, you're lost. And you're going to hell to be with your brother, Jean Bashoff, and your brother, uh, the goddess Diana, uh, <laughs> the goddess Diana of the Ephesians, and her husband. Okay? Uh, somebody had made mention to me of a comment that they had left that YouTube is not letting through. Um, that apparently has happened on a, a couple of the comments in the video, uh, Bible is Mark of the Beast, Lying va uh, Vanities. Uh, a couple people have commented uh, refuting those devils, but somehow YouTube is not allowing their comments through, even on those who are approved users and moderators, too. That's, that's weird. That's weird. But uh, now, brethren, I, I, I'm sorry. I am truly sorry, but I'm going to subject you to a little, and anyone who is saved, born again, converted of the church of the living God, is <laughs> like, yeah, these guys, but see, these are the times we live in. You people who spit on the word of God, who call this an idol, and as you see, and this is, you know, he is not the originator of it. But he was the forerunner of it on YouTube here that I could see at least. Okay? All right? The, the, brethren, there's, there's no reasoning with these people because they're idiots. Void of logic and reason. Okay? It's futile to argue with these people. Like the, the comments. And, I'm, I'm, and hey, you, my moderators, don't remove them. Leave their comments up there. Okay? And what's interesting is even those my enemies who pretend to be of the Church of the Living God, they're not even Christians, but even they, they would even have to, to keep up the facade. Even they would be like, oh, wow, yeah, those, those guys are pretty, those guys are pretty evil. Even my enemies would, and hey, you my enemies? <laughs> you want something to do? Go get them! <laughs> go get them go get that bible is mark of beast unless well then again you, my enemies are of the same spirit but yet they, at least at least my enemies who hate me at least at least they put on the facade that they adhere to the scriptures at least I will give my enemies that at least they do these guys even my enemies who would kill me and run me over and beat me with a baseball bat if they could. Um, even my enemies would have to be like, okay, yeah, yeah, these, these guys here. Yeah. But not enough of that. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to let this speak for itself. Okay. And, and, and people don't leave this, leave this guy. This guy's dead in hell. Okay. His, his disciples, his followers you know, it's just kind of like the Jehovah's, the Jehovah's Witnesses. And you're going to see these people are under mind control. They really are. Okay? They have been bewitched. Now, check this out. Church of the Living God, I'm sorry to subject you to this, but this is something that needs to be done. Okay? This is the second video that uh, the Lord is having me to make, specifically dealing with that devil Jezebel harlot witch, uh, the goddess Diana, <laughs> who these fools worship. 
this is going to be the final video on that devil harlot. And then, got, got bigger things to do, better things to do. But the hope is that a babe who comes across this kind of nonsense may repent and get away from these devils before it is too late. Okay? Here we go. The modern generation of professing Christians have Bibles, but they do not have the Word of God. Now, hold on. They have Bibles, but they do not have the Word of God. Okay? What he is talking about, what he is making a reference on to is, as it were in the Old Testament, when the prophets, the Old Testament prophets, would give revelation from the Lord speaking of future events. Okay? Because this man, just like that devil witch, Diana, okay, this guy's name is John Boshoff, okay, that lady Diana, I don't even know what her last name is. Uh, I know that she is uh, of Satan himself, you know, and her followers follow her as the great goddess Diana of the Ephesians, okay? But see, what he is doing is he's saying that the word of God is the spoken word as given uh, new revelation as if he were an Old Testament prophet, okay? That's what he's doing, okay? He's confusing it. He's blurring it, okay? And Old Testament prophets who reveal new revelation, which are always contrary to the scripture, or they will use scripture and distort it. As it says here, uh, they will handle the word of God deceitfully. Okay? And just like that woman Diana, Jean Boshoff was not stupid. He knew the truth. He knew the truth of Scripture. He knew the true gospel. See, one has to know the truth in order to promote this bold face of a lie. Okay? you got to be aware of That's why this guy is in hell. Okay? That's why uh, the goddess Diana of the Ephesians from Bible is Mark of Beast, that's why she she's lost. She There's no hope for her. She's going to hell. Okay? Her husband is in hell. She's going to hell. There's no hope for her. She, you, When you get to this point, there's no hope for you. My hope is to reach those of you who have not reached this point yet. And that, that guy put down the book and that little girl, uh, narrow way, pathfinder, and that twit idiot, uh, mercy mission or whatever. Those, those people, you're gone. You're gone. And the one guy put down the book. <laughs> okay, hey look, if you're going to speak against the scriptures, fine. Then don't, don't even try to use them. What, what, what is that? What is that? It's like, you don't believe the scriptures, but you're going to use the scriptures? You, you, like, like the one brother tried to comment to the one mission idiot guy. Uh, you guys, <laughs> like, like he said, he, he the, the one brother sent me the comment that wasn't being uh, posted. Uh, okay. Uh, Y'all got rocks for brains. Y'all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because you're bewitched. You're under these devil's sorcery, under their spell. Okay? You're lost. God help you. But, okay, here. Come on. They have not had a word from God either. Man shall not live from bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now see what he is doing. <laughs> Lord, please, as we're looking, smack this man in hell, silly. Again, please turn up the, the heat a little bit as we're going through this for that for this devil, please. This damnation. See what he's done? Okay. He said, yeah, and that's true. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. See, what he is doing is, like I told you, he is taking stuff that was relative to the Old Testament before the completed canon of Scripture. Okay, and even back at when our Lord said that in a rebuke unto the devil, they had the Old Testament scriptures themselves. Okay, but see what he is doing is, what he is doing is, he is putting himself as a prophet who speaks 
the word, the spoken word, as if he is an Old Testament prophet revealing things that God hasn't said in the scriptures. Hence, contradict. See, he's, he's, and this guy's made all kinds of false prophecies that never came true, okay? He was calling himself an Old Testament prophet, basically, okay? That's what he is doing. And because you don't have a written standard to uh, search daily to see whether these things are so, but you have a spirit, but you don't know what spirit that is because you're not searching the scriptures to see what kind of spirit it is, because God is a spirit, okay? Um, you gotta go to people like this. You gotta go to people like this. You gotta go to that goddess Diana of the Ephesians, right? These people are cult leaders. They really are. And they use mind control. Oh, so subtle. So subtle. Okay? But see, he quoted the scriptures. Okay? But see, he's doing that in the, in the pretense of, hey, I'm a prophet of God, just like uh, Isaiah or Jeremiah were. And I'm revealing to you, as Isaiah, as Jeremiah did, things that God said. And today, people prophesy by, and we covered this in the other video, which will be in the description box of this one, okay? People prophesy today by having one, the Holy Ghost within them, and the Lord Jesus Christ is that spirit, okay? Who is God our Father, having the Lord in them, speaking to you from the scriptures. That is prophesying today, okay? Old Testament prophets do not exist today. Okay? Let's continue. If you have had a word from God, you are a changed man and woman. You are not the same, my friend. If you have met with a living God, you are all struck. You've come into the fear of God. You've come into the presence of God and you're not the same man and woman anymore. Now, see, this is, he's twisting truth. When the Lord saves you, you are a new creature. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And yes, that's true. You are not the same man or woman. That is true. But see, what he is doing is because God speaks to you audibly or like some of these charismatics that I know of, that God actually appears to them personally, okay? Okay? This guy, this guy who is in hell, he's putting off that he is an Old Testament prophet, okay? And that lying Jezebel, uh, the goddess Diana of the Ephesians, uh, at Bible is Mark of Beast, okay? She's bewitching people, teaching people to commit fornication, okay? Or not physical fornication, Spiritual fornication. Okay, let's continue. Because you've met up with the greatest power that there can be. The power of God. The power of God. If you've had a revelation of God, you are a changed man, dear friend. And wherever you go, you have an influence on people. The lukewarm and the hypocrites hate you. Talking about truly saved And believers. the world will hate you also. Because if the Spirit of Christ is in you, they will hate you. The Spirit of Christ? Yeah, that Spirit of Antichrist was in this man, as it is in that harlot woman, uh, the goddess Diana of the Ephesians, that Bible is Mark of Beast. Okay? And see, what he's doing is he's mind controlling, training the disciples, okay? Because, <laughs> I mean, today is the exception because these are the last days leading up to the redemption of the purchased possession, uh, the catching away of the body of Christ before the time of Jacob's trouble, erroneously referred to as the pre-tribulation rapture. And yeah, yeah, you want crazy uh, Elijah of Malachi? If that was you, my friend from England, or if that was you, little boy from... That, that 
is that is on a whole nother level of madness and depravity. If that was one of you, that 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 you you know what I'm talking about. If that was hey, I, like uh, a brother suggested, uh, that was probably a, your friend from England, and <laughs> I might be giving a little too much credit here. But I was like, uh, no, I, I mean, no. I mean, my, my dear friend from England is lost and going to hell, yes. But I, it's like, no, that, that's, that's too far gone for even him to do something like that. Granted, these men have no standard. They have no morals. They have no decency. They have nothing like that. But that, if, if that was you or your little boyfriend from a... Uh, can I, that that's that's on a whole nother level of of madness, and um, <laughs> I think you both need. If if that was you, if that was one of you, uh, if that was one of you, you need to up the Prozac or something there, because that uh, that was that was pretty mad. That was pretty mad. But side note, okay. But see. What he's doing is he's preparing his disciples. He's brainwashing his disciples because most of the lost people, especially uh, before time, before these times now, uh, in yesteryear in the United States of America, um, people would generally have a little bit more respect for the scriptures. Okay, when you would, I mean, even lost people, uh, even 10 years ago, had a little bit more respect for the scriptures. But see, you got guys like this and that woman, Diana of the Ephesians, coming out, uh, teaching people to disrespect, to spit on the scriptures. Okay? And see, to take this stand, like this guy and this woman are doing, that the, the Bible is not the word of God, even though it declares itself to be. They blur, well, it's the spoken word it's talking about. Hey, hey, geniuses. Okay. Um, have you noticed that the spoken word of the scripture, of the scripture, yes, it was spoken, but God had them to write it down <laughs> for us. Okay. So the spoken word became the written word. Okay, and the spoken word that the speaking, you know, the spoken word that he's making reference to is new revelation, which is outside. This guy also taught uh, sinless perfection, that you don't sin anymore, um, that the blood of Jesus Christ doesn't cleanse away all sin. And I don't know, but I would bet you great sums of money that little old goddess Diana of the Ephesians at Bible is Mark of Beast. I bet you, just like her brother here, I bet you she teaches sinless perfection too. I bet you that. I bet you that. I bet you that. Let's let's continue, okay? Like they hate Jesus Christ, my friend. Yeah, we hate that son of perdition. Christians do not have Christ in them. They don't do not have the word of God in them. Neither do they have the Spirit of Christ in them. They are accepted by the world. They are conformed to this world. They are People want to hear that you don't need close the, close the book and live by your feelings. That's what people want to hear today. You get someone like this who called himself a Christian, of course, and that, that uh, goddess Diana of the Ephesians over there, calls herself a Christian, um, goes to someone who is in the gutter, who is broken, calling themselves a Christian. It's like, you don't need, they say, you don't need the Bible. You don't need the Bible. Just follow the Spirit. Well, which one is which? God will show you which one is which. Well, how do I know which is God? You'll just know by your feelings. Come to me. I'll show you. See how it works? See how it works, people? carrying Bibles, but they are not bearers of the Word of God. They haven't he heard the Word of God. Now see, what he said was true. 
A lot of these Christians going to the buildings, yes, they're carrying a Bible like the NIV most likely or the ESV or the NKJV or something like that. And that he is speaking is true. Yes, a lot of the Christians have a Bible under their arm. But a lot of them, uh, as you, many of you probably know, who go to the buildings nowadays, they, they don't even take uh, Bibles with them, let alone the scriptures, because there is a difference. But what he is saying is true. A lot of the Christians, that's why I'm not a Christian. That's why I'm against the word, okay? Words are important. Words have meaning, okay? A lot of the Christians, that they will. They'll give reverence to a Bible, not the scriptures. And see, he's attacking the Bible. And that woman, goddess, the great goddess of the uh, Diana of the Ephesians, she's attacking the Bible. And in a sense, the NIV, the New American Standard, okay? The New Living Translation, okay? <laughs> the ESV, those are Bibles. But see, in their teaching, they're teaching that people will go against the scriptures, which is the authorized version. See, that's why we, and brethren, this man is in hell, so never mind. His disciples, that's another thing. But that woman and her disciples, okay, I hate them with perfect hatred. I call them my enemies. Why? Because they hate our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? When someone gets to this level of deception, they are gone. They have made their choice. Hence, they are our enemies. I, I don't want to see, I didn't want to see him in hell. I don't. But he hates our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are to hate them with perfect hatred because they hate our Lord. The goddess of the Ephesians, Diana, at the uh, Bible is Mark of the Beast. Oh, excuse me. They're uh, intelli unintelligible. Uh, Bible is Mark of the Beast. Um, we are to hate them with perfect hatred. They are our enemies. Okay? We give them the truth, which is being done. But see, that woman especially, she is our enemy. She is our enemy. We love our enemies by giving them the truth. But if they don't want to hear that, fine. Go to hell then. Y'all, go to hell. It's waiting for you. It was prepared for the devil and his angels, whom you guys follow. Brad, that's, that's truth, brethren. Are you going to weep for Arturo Sosa when he goes to hell? Are you going to weep for... <coughs> Are you going to weep for Pope Francis? They are servants of the devil. They have made their choice. When some, I know this is hard. I know this is harsh. But brethren, <laughs> brethren, our God is a God of judgment, of righteous judgment. These people had the same chance that you and I have. Okay? Had. Okay? Because we're saved. But they've rejected it and have chosen Satan. And there's no going back for some of these people. They are our enemies. And the, you know this. And the scripture is plain. We are to hate them with perfect hatred. What is perfect hatred? If they hate the Lord, they are our enemies. That's what perfect hatred is. Okay? There'll be a link in the description box where we talk about uh, loving your enemies and perfect hatred. It's a two part uh, video thing. Uh, watch it. Okay? We go through the scriptures talking about it. Okay? I don't want to see my enemies in hell. But they have chosen Satan henceforth. They hate the Lord and they are our enemies. 
Hey, if one of my enemies were to truly, which I believe they can't because they've gone past that point of no return, but let's just say if they did, I'd be the first one there for them. I would. I'd be the first one there to nourish them and to, to help them along in the scriptures and to do what I can for them. I would. But they have to, do you, will you love those that hate the Lord? And see, when Jesus said that on the Sermon on the Mount, it was in the context of the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven, when Jesus Christ will be actually physically sitting on the throne in Jerusalem, okay? Uh, during the kingdom of heaven, uh, we are the least of these people's problems. They're going to have to deal with the Lord personally, okay? That's the context of why he said that, okay? Remember, please remember that and keep that in mind. I wish it weren't so, but it is. You understand? Let's continue. They haven't had a word of God. If God has put his word in your mouth, my friend, and you speak his word, meaning then there's dynamite. Like a prophet. Yeah. Have you had a word from God? Are you one of Has God elect? spoken to you? Have you come into the fear of God? Has he put his spirit into you, dear friend? Are you rejected and hated by this world? Is Jesus Christ inside of you? Do you have a word from God? Or are you Revelation? just reading the Bible? If you have a word from God, there is power. Because the word of God that goes out from his mouth will not return empty. Churches are full of again. professed sinners. They say we are all sinners. They've had no meeting with God. They don't have no word of God. They have dead words on paper. But they... Lord! Crank up the heat on this man. Crank up the heat on this man. Dead word. That's exactly... And uh, great goddess Diana of the Ephesians... Uh, the Lord rebuke you, and the Lord rebuke all your wicked, perverted disciples, okay, who you have bewitched with your witchcraft, okay? They haven't heard from Jesus yet. They haven't met the Master yet. Your Master was Satan. Dear friend, have you heard from Jesus yet? Which Jesus? Have you come into the awe of God yet? <laughs> God of this world? Is Jesus... Real to He's you. talking about Satan. May Jesus bless you. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Now that was John Boshoff. Now here, let's uh, let's do this. <laughs> the Bible is Mark <laughs> a beast. <laughs> okay. Oh, and there is great goddess Diana of the Ephesians herself. This wicked harlot. And just, just no shut up, what? shut up. <laughs> okay. Th this is the last time I'm going to do this. Okay. This is the last time. Okay. Just right here. You heard what John Boshoff said? Okay. I was hangry. And that's oh, of course. Monetized. Working long hours, eating lunch at like 3 p.m. Run running to and course, from appointments. Monetized. The Bible is not the word of God. The <laughs> it's not funny. They're of the same spirit. That, you know, the thumbnail that hopefully I'm going to be able to put on this video. They're of the same spirit. Okay. That, that, that's it. I, I, I don't want to vomit. Okay. I, I don't want to vomit. All right. That, that, that's enough of that. There. That's, that's, that's enough of that. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I want to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to show you this. Okay. Yeah. That, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Now, I, 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 I um, uh, oh, excuse me. 
interact okay now I want to show you this okay go here to my channel oh <laughs> account table KJV okay all right don't need to hear me talking you're already hearing me talking okay uh, I, I, I want to show you this okay scroll down here look at this comment section okay newest first okay this guy new air world mission center this guy right here Doug you're an idiot you're lost and on your way to hell and I want to show you this okay I quoted to him for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Then this guy is like, totally agree, putting it back onto me. See, see what these devils do, a manipulation tactic that they do is you'll give them the truth of the scriptures and they'll be like, yeah, you're right. But deflect it, chaff and uh, redirect, deflect it and turn it back at you. Kind of like what uh, Vladimir Lenin said. Uh, call the enemy what you are and always speak the opposite of the truth. Okay? That's a manipulation tactic that these people are doing. Okay? And also here, there's, and uh, let me see. Did uh, the one brother's comment uh, reply to him come up? No. <laughs> it says three, but only two there. And the brother gave me the exact comment, which he commented to this person, <laughs> which was really good. But, and then this one, narrow path uh, traveler, this woman, also myself and some other brethren um, uh, made some uh, comments to her. And she's like, agree, you know, look in the mirror and stuff like that. And this guy put down the book. This, this guy put down the book. He quotes scripture. If you're against the scripture, okay, why, if you don't believe it, then why use it? Hmm? Why use it? <laughs> but see, these here, and bra and people, leave them alone. Let them, let them spew their stuff. They have been warned. They have re been rebuked. Leave them alone. Okay? Leave them alone. These are disciples, and you went, go to one of the, uh, Diana of the Ephesians, you go to one of her videos, you'll see this half-wit, rock-for-brains idiot commenting, same with this little girl, and same with this fool, too, okay? It's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible, okay? And, you know, again, about, uh, uh, and here, I, we need to get the, uh, we need to get the, uh, the thing there to drive home the point. Okay. Sorry about that. Go back to <laughs> the Bible is Mark of Beast. <laughs> okay. And uh, again, oh. about the shut up. And shh, don't want to. And again, it's monetized. Me? Oh, yeah, you're not of the world there, you Tell harlot. Yeah, oh, yeah, Bible. shut up, shut up. But one more time, one more time about this, okay? Okay? Okay, covered this in the previous video, but I'm going to cover it again, and this is the last time. This is the last video that's going to be done on these people, okay? Second Timothy chapter, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 9 on to verse 14. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Nice necklace she's wearing. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. And see, you got to reject the Bible, right? As they say, because in the scriptures you read, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. But see, if you reject the Bible, as they say, but see, in rejecting the Bibles, 
like the NIV and stuff like that, which have, uh, she does, and same with John Boshoff, her brother. They did speak truth. Yeah, they've been changed. His, his word endureth forever. Okay? The authorized version. See, what she's doing is making people to hate the scriptures as well. And see, in the scriptures you see, uh, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Well, I don't believe the scriptures. Meh. Okay, then go to hell. Go to hell then. Follow your little the goddess Diana of the Ephesians. Go to hell then. There's nothing we can do for you. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. Satan didn't go to Adam. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. This woman, if she's not saved, she should keep her mouth shut and not speak. And, okay, okay, and, uh, you, okay, you go to, just, just shut up, don't. Look at this, okay, look at this. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man. Okay, look at this. Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. Now, I understand her husband died and went to hell. Okay. Oh, there you see her husband who is in hell. Okay. Look, Jezebel, Jezebel, uh, uh, Ahab and Jezebel. Oh, look, more Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. Je you get the point. And you know, you people, her disciples, I pity you. And I do feel sorry for you. Because this woman is Jezebel. She is a witch. She is a, uh, using sorcery. She has bewitched you. And you are led astray and you're going to hell. She has you under her control. She is a witch. She doesn't want you searching the scriptures whether these things are so. You go to her for truth. You don't go to the Lord for truth. And that spirit that's speaking to you, how do you know which one is which? You go to her to identify the spirit, which is that spirit of Antichrist. See, brethren, I wish it weren't so, but there's there's really no hope for these people. Well, I mean, like I said, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Like I said, when you reach that level of deception, <laughs> okay, I'll get, I'll give you an example. My enem, my personal enemies who hate me, okay? There is still hope for even them. There is more hope. Let me put this in perspective. There is more hope of my friend from England and his friend from Canada. There is more hope for them to genuinely get saved, come to the Lord broken, even though they are deceivers, even though they are liars. There is more hope for them than there are for that woman and her disciples. There's more hope for them than there are for those people. Because my enemies, at least, they, they put on the facade that they adhere to the scriptures. They at least do that. But these people, just like that one, what, Phil Johnson guy, which Mr. Denlinger did, uh, and I, I don't want to link one of his videos in uh, mine and uh, because for obvious reasons, uh, I have no respect for the man or whatever, but he did do a video showing about the Phil Johnson guy about, uh, you know, well, this is the word of God. You know, and then uh, in that video, um, out, the people outside, there was that girl uh, who was like, oh, I just want to see Jesus. <laughs> Devils. Okay. And people who are being broken right now, who are losing all things, you know, the famine that I warned about almost a year ago, okay, is coming is is still coming okay that food famine is still coming but yet even in all of that even in all of that with everything 
that's going to happen with the food famine, with all the breaking, okay? Amos chapter 4. Amos chapter 4. Amos chapter 4 you can apply in two ways. Onto those of the church of the living God who get away from the Lord, okay? And that does happen. That, that does happen. There are those who get headstrong in their way and they go on in their sin and the Lord hands them over for the destruction of the flesh. Uh, that Yes, but um, Amos chapter 4, verses 6, um, on to verse 12. Amos chapter 4, 6 on to verse 12. And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and want of bread in all your places. Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Now this in context is talking about God's chosen people, the Israelites. This is under the dispensation of the law, which was faith and works. Okay? And in, in, under this dispensation, um, there was no eternal security. And it is within this dispensation that devils like Jean Bashoff and uh, devils like uh, God, uh, Diana of the Ephesians there are claiming to be Old Testament prophets. Okay? Okay? But! But what's coming upon America and upon the world here very soon, but here in my country especially, and I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and want of, and want of bread in all your places. Famine. Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Not going to the Lord. You're going to these lost people who are being broken. They're going to people like that like Diana of the Ephesians there, to people who say, just believe and don't give them any meat. Okay. Incidentally, it's no new thing for me to be attacked for the length of the videos that the Lord will have me to do. Okay. I have been called to teach and to preach and to expound in scripture and to share the things in scripture that the Lord has shown me. Okay, that is what I have been called to do. Okay, I am fallible. I have made mistakes. I make mistakes. I am not perfect. The word of the Lord, the authorized version of the scriptures is perfect. Okay, I make mistakes. When I make mistakes and am corrected and be corrected on them, I do it. I repent publicly. I leave my mistakes up there so you can see it's, and that's important to me, that you see the mistakes that I have made to show you that I'm fallible, but this is infallible, okay? But see, all this stuff is going on, and what's coming upon America is judgment. Judgment against a nation that is against God, that allows child sex trafficking, Okay, that allows same-sex marriage. Okay, that allows perversion at the highest level. Our government, our nation is controlled by the Vatican, run by the Jesuits. Okay, but even in all of that, are people turning to the true Lord, our God, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ? They're going to a church building with the, where the Christians are hearing... God loves you. God's not mad at you. Just believe. Hence, damning people to hell. Or, the, the Bible is not the word of God. Go with your feelings. Follow me and I'll teach you how to do it. Verse 7. And also I have withholden the rain from you, when there were yet three months to the harvest, on that one, you wouldn't guess with the rain that we've been getting in Illinois. but And I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon and the piece whereupon it rained not withered. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have smitten you with blasting and mildew with when your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased. 
the palmer worm devoured them. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Again, the context is of the children of Israel that went astray from the Lord. Also for our instruction and righteousness of the church of the living God, for we who are saved, uh, you, get, you stray away from the book and things start to happen. You need to repent and get right. But also for instruction and righteousness unto the lost. Hell is breaking loose. Everything is about to collapse in America. Where are you going to? You're going to the Jesuits. You're going to the CDC. You're going to uh, Kamala Harris and her front man smoking Joe. You're going to the Jesuits. You're going to the Vatican. You're going to a church building. You're going to the Vatican. You're going to the Vatican. And I recently, just today, was sent a link about the Southern Baptists. <laughs> the Southern Baptist Convention. And the link I was sent was one, and uh, this came from me to me from a brother. Um, <laughs> the link was a Catholic link talking about how the Southern Baptists have the same problems with sex abusers like the Catholic Church does. <laughs> uh, look, look that up. If any, any of you have yet, I mean, it's, it's appalling. You see why? And, and you, brethren, you, you want to cling to that thing called Christian when Satan is dragging that through the mud and we we never called ourselves that you know to a certain individual you said you were wrong in doing that video no you weren't you just don't have the guts to stick to your guns Oh, but you will call people lost because they uh, they speak against being Catholic for a day. Yeah, you and your little boy. Yeah. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses. And I have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils. Yet... Have ye not returned unto me, sat the Lord? I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And how were Sodom and Gomorrah overthrown? Like that. Quickly. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay? And ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet have ye not returned unto me, sat the Lord. And verse 12, scary part. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. What does that mean? Prepare to meet thy God. You're going to die. You're going to die. That's what that means. Prepare to meet your God. When are you going to meet God? When are you actually going to physically, visually meet God? <laughs> in your bedroom at night, right? When he appears to you. <laughs> no. When you die, you're going to go stand before him. Okay? John chapter 18. John chapter 18. John chapter 18. John chapter 18, verses 28, on to verse 37. The coming kingdom is that kingdom of Antichrist. Okay? The kingdom of heaven is the thousand-year reign of our Lord Jesus Christ that comes at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble. We of the Church of the Living God, those of us who are truly saved, we're not kingdom builders, okay? We're not building a kingdom because it's not up to us. Who is building a kingdom? 
that man of sin, the son of perdition, Satan, to be ruled by that man of sin, the son of perdition, inaccurately referred to as the Antichrist. Okay? Beware of these kingdom builders. Whether your kingdom is your own little compound out in the middle of nowhere. Building your own kingdom, huh, buddy? Huh? Beware of kingdom builders. We're not building a kingdom. John 18, verses 28 on to verse 37. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment, and it was early. And they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? They answered and said unto him, If he were not a male factor, we would not have delivered him up unto thee. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. Really, that the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. Then Pilate entered into the, judge, into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Verse 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. Hold on. Now right away you read that, well yeah, it's talking about the spiritual kingdom, yes. But when he said this to Pilate, he was about to be crucified. Jesus came, and this is the whole gist of the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus came offering the kingdom of heaven unto the Jewish people, where he would reign as king, the son of David. Okay, son of David. That when, they, when he, our Lord is referred to as son of David, that is making a reference unto his kingship. Okay, he was offering them the kingdom of heaven, the thousand year reign, where he would reign on his throne in Jerusalem. Okay. So when he says, my kingdom is not of this world, he was speaking literally. Yeah, because his people rejected it and handed him over. It was prophesied that he was going to do that. They were going to do that in Isaiah chapter 53. But see, God is just. If he didn't offer, he wouldn't be a fair, just God, would he? Even though he knew the outcome. God is fair, just and equal. Oh, wicked man, are not your ways unequal? Okay, But yes, my kingdom is not of this world. And he meant that literally in this context. Prove it to you, okay? If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Fight to keep him from being crucified. But see, his servants, you know, not, not the apostles and whatnot, but his servants, meaning Israel, okay? Were they trying to save their king? No, they handed him over, okay? That I should not be delivered. Uh, okay. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. His kingdom will be at his second coming when he will destroy that uh, the Antichrist kingdom, the Antichrist kingdom, okay? That's that Antichrist kingdom, meaning the spirit of Antichrist, which will be held, ruled by that man of sin, the son of perdition, okay? Okay, when he destroys that, he's going to set up his kingdom in Jerusalem for a thousand years, okay? Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Audibly. No. Well, in that context, yes. But today, are you hearing God audibly? If you say yes, is that possible for someone to audibly hear the voice of God 
There's still small voice? Yes, I believe that's possible. But see, unless you're checking the scriptures to see whether these things are so, how are you going to know what voice it is that's speaking to you? Hmm? Oh, you go to uh, the goddess Diana of the Ephesians, right? Or you go to Mr. John Boshoff, right? Yeah. Uh, a little bit more on this kingdom thing. Mark chapter 3. Verses 23 on to verse 26. Let's read verses 22 on to verse 26. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils casteth he out devils. And see, that is blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, because in this context, Verse 29, but he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. You can't commit the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost today. Why? Because Jesus Christ is not physically on the earth. Okay? Jesus is the only one who said that. None of the apostles ever said it. And this is the only time it was ever said. And it's in context of Jesus physically being there, which he is not today. Okay? Okay? So don't be afraid, dear woman, of blaspheming the Holy Ghost because you cannot do it today because Jesus Christ himself physically is not on the earth. Okay? And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And see, as witnessed by Brother Alberto Rivera in uh, that book, The Force, uh, his testimony of force about how um, Satan will put on a show for people. It's like when the priest comes to exercise a house or exercise a demon, okay? It's a show to get people fooled, to follow after the Catholic Church, okay? Put the link for that uh, um, Ghosts Among Us. I believe that's where we talk about it, okay? But sometimes that happens. But Satan doesn't cast out Satan. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. John Boshoff and Diana of the Ephesians are working together in conjecture, in union with the easy believism heretics, okay, the Calvinists, save yourself, okay? And, of course, the Catholics, because they're the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, okay? See, cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Birds of a, a feather flock together. And those who we thought were of us are being made manifest nowadays, brethren, that they are not of us. Setting up their own little kingdom. Ancient. Yeah. Yeah. Making your own little petty kingdom, boy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and John chapter 8. John chapter 8. And see, you try to witness to these people with the scriptures. They will manipulate and twist and throw it back at you. Okay? Like you will see in the comment section of that one video. Okay? That's why it's vanity. It's, it's hopeless to witness onto some of these people. I mean, we love them in giving them the truth. That's what this is. But like I said, they manipulate and twist, chaff and redirect, and turn your, your words against you. They turn and rend you. With these people, brethren... We're casting pearls before swine. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't witness to them or give them scripture at all. But you'll see right away in the tactic of, yes, that's true, meaning turning it back to you. It's like, <laughs> you know why? You know, because in Hebrews chapter 4, in Hebrews chapter 4, okay, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, 
Come on, fingers, work with me. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, for the word of God, and this is not talking about the spoken word, uh, not all the spoken word, right, but the spoken word that was needful for us today was written down. Here, in the authorized version of the scriptures. You're crazy. But, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. And that's describing a person. A person is a spirit, soul, and body. We all have a soul. We all have a spirit. Joints and marrow both are part of the body. Okay? And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. In Acts chapter 2, in Acts chapter 2, they were pricked in the heart. And Peter also quoted scripture. But in Acts chapter 7, okay, when Stephen's like, you always do reject the Holy Ghost, okay, they had, the, addressing his people, the Jews, okay, they had the oracles of God and the commandments and the covenants, but they rejected it. See, the people in Acts chapter 2, when they heard the word of God, uh, Peter quoted to them the scriptures, okay? They were pricked. And they said, men and brethren, what must we do? And in Acts chapter 7, they were cut, okay? This will prick your heart and or cut your heart. And if it has no effect on you at all whatsoever, but they do a chaff and redirect, um, that's, that's very telling, brethren. Pity these people. But in John chapter 8, John chapter 8, verses 42 on to verse 45, Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceed forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? You mean the word that a spirit is audibly talking to you? No, his word. Where do you have Jesus Christ's words in the authorized version of the scriptures? Not all of them. Uh, yes, you're right. But what is needful, pertinent for our salvation, for our instruction and in righteousness, for our living after Christ, for our comfort is here in the scriptures. Okay? It is. What is needful for us? You don't hear God's word. The scriptures. Okay? Old Testament prophets are no longer today. People prophesy today again by having the spirit of God within them, the Holy Ghost, and the Lord is that spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ who is God our Father. Okay, having the Lord within them speaking to you through the scriptures, that's prophesying today. Because the canon of scripture is complete and there is no new revelation of uh, future events that are to come as far as pertaining prophecy of scripture. Okay? These people, ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. Ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. You will be like the Most High, right? <laughs> uh, uh, Diana of the Ephesians and her satanic little channel now um, has a video that ye, we are gods or something like that. Ye are gods. <laughs> I haven't. I won't look at it because it's absurd. I'm sure they're you know little Jesuses. <laughs> Oh, brethren, he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. But see, again, brethren, when dealing with these types of people, like the disciples of uh, Diana of the Ephesians, uh, Final Calls disciples and whatever, they have the victim martyr mentality. Just have you ever tried witnessing to a Jeho? You'll see them do this, like look away up to the left or something like that. 
uh, trying to, because they have been programmed. They have been programmed with the martyr mentality because what they are speaking is so far away from the truth. Their main doctrines, even though the Jehos, they have their own Bible, okay? They do. Uh, but the core of their doctrine is so far gone that most people are like, that's pretty crazy. And then people will rightfully so attack them and they have that martyr complex because it's so far gone. You got people like Jean Bashoff, who is in hell, and Diana of the Ephesians over there. That, what they are teaching, is so crazy. They're training you by manipulation and um, mind control tactics, okay? They're programming you with the martyr complex, just like the Jehovah's Witnesses, okay? Jean Bashoff was a skilled master manipulator, as is Diana of the Ephesians, the great goddess of the Ephesians, Princess Diana there. She is a master manipulator. She, she's even better than Jack Hiles was, I think. Jack Hiles, if you don't know about him, okay. Mr. Brian Denlinger. Mr. Brian Denlinger did a really good video exposing Jack Hiles, okay? He did. Gotta give him his due, okay? But people have this mentality. John 16, 1 through 3. These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. And see, that is coming upon us, the Church of the Living God, who stand to the Scriptures. But see, these crazies, these madmen, take this and twist it on and put it onto themselves that they are the one. No, they're not. No, they're not. And see, that Diana of the Ephesians and Jean Bashoff, they know what the true context of this is, and yet they manipulate and twist it to put forth their satanic doctrine. That's why I say to you, brethren, there's no hope for those people. There's no hope for that Diana. There ain't no hope for her. If her name is Dana, and I'm, it doesn't matter, she is Semiramis. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> she is. She is. She is putting herself off as the queen of heaven which is the Roman Catholic Mary. Yeah. Psalm 95. Psalm 95. Psalm 95. Psalm 95, verses 3 under verse 11. For the Lord is a, is a great God and a great king above all gods. Yeah, you read the book of Job, even Satan has to go to the Lord to get permission to attack the Lord's children, okay? In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed a dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, how do you hear the Lord's voice? Through the scripture. If you want to hear him speak to you audibly, read out loud. Okay? Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the day, as in the provocation, as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Diana of the Ephesians, Sean Boshoff, who's in hell, and all you who are devoted disciples of that devil. And Proverbs chapter 27. <laughs> Today is the 27th. Brethren, did you read the proverb today? Verses 20 on to verse 22. 
<laughs> Hell and destruction are never full. No, no, they're not, are they? So the eyes of man are never satisfied. Got to tear down your barns and get bigger ones, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't be satisfied with smaller things in life. But no, you got to keep going for bigger and bigger. Beware of covetousness. And beware of the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. Okay? As the finding pot for silver. Ooh. Ooh. My brother, our brother, and my best friend, our best friend, Alexander Hartley, did a beautiful video on um, Proverbs 25. I forget what verse it was about refining, uh, refining and stuff like that. Really good video. <laughs> Done in three parts. <laughs> but... Um, very good, very good, very good. I will put it in the description box of, in this video. But as the finding pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though, though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle. What is a mortar and pestle? A little bowl and you got a beater thing to beat it into a powder. Okay. Yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Speak not in the ears of the fool, for they will despise your wisdom, and you will lose your sweet words. Yesterday's proverb. Cast not your pearls before swine, brethren. One, two admonitions to these heretics, devils. They don't want to hear you. Your damnation is just. And they're going to persist in attacking the scriptures. They're our enemies. And may God's righteous judgment be upon them. By the way, that's not saying that we hope they die. Because, brethren, if these people die, they're going to hell. I don't want them to go to hell. But they are our enemies. We are to hate them with perfect hatred. Okay? If they are our Lord's enemies. They are our enemies. Okay? But I don't want to see them go to hell. But see, God's judgment is just. And God's judgment doesn't necessarily mean a death sentence. But then again, God could have brought all kinds of stuff upon them, and yet they don't turn to him. And Psalm 119. <laughs> Psalm 119. And you know, brethren, these people, you want to quote to them Psalm 119 because Psalm 119 is all about the Word. But see, these devils who confuse, God is not the author of confusion, okay? They will confuse spoken Word and written Word. The spoken Word that was that is needful for our salvation and living godly and warning, rebuke, correction, and doctrine, and instruction, and righteousness, the written word was written down for us, or the spoken word was written down for us. Okay? What is needful for man was written down for us. And that's what Psalm 119 is addressing. But see, you've got these hairy ticks, devils, and it's talking about the spoken word. Okay? Whatever you want to say there, twinkle toes. Go to hell then. Go to hell. Go to hell. And may your life down here on earth be blessed abundantly with the blessings from your father, the devil. May you possess all things. May you be in the best health because this is your best life now. May you have all your provisions. May you not have to pray daily and fast daily, wondering how you're going to make it. May that never be upon you. Because you serve the God of this world, Satan, Lucifer. Because the world that is coming for you, you're going to be, I wish I would have listened. I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have. I wish I would have. By then it will be too late. 
But Psalm 119, A.N. Psalm 119, A.N. I'm sorry. That's verses 121 on to verse 128. Uh, see, <laughs> how would you know that unless you read the scripture? See that? That's A.N. When it comes to Psalm 119, learn how to identify, because these are synonymous with the Hebrew al alphabet, by the way. Uh, learn how to locate in Psalm 119 by the heading, A.N., okay? Learn how to do that. A.N. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Oh, and you talk about a haughty, arrogant, proud spirit with these people. I don't believe the scriptures. <laughs> okay. Go to hell then. <laughs> go go run off that cliff. Hey, we've warned you. But you don't want to hear have it? Fine. Fine. I'll be sad to see you in hell, but our God is just. You've made your own grave. You've dug your own grave. You've made your own bed. I pity you. But see, it's your fault. See, you, you disciples of Diana of the Ephesians there, at the great white throne of judgment, you're going to blame Diana. Just like so many people are going to blame Sosa. He's the black pope, the head of the Jesuits, who is the actual head of all Catholicism. Uh, Francis. Francis is his puppet, okay? Because the Jesuits, all Jesuits, Francis is a Jesuit. Uh, all Jesuits are subservient to the superior general, Arturo Sosa, okay? But uh, many people are going to blame Sosa, the popes. Rightly so. But see, every one of you is going to give an account of yourself to God. And as we, as I demonstrated in the one video, um, God is not holding a gun to your head. You have free will. You're not going to be able to be get away with, well, she made me do it. No. Hey, Diana of the Ephesians over there, that Bible is Mark of Beath. Uh, she's not holding a gun to your head. But she's using her sorcery, her witchcraft, to bewitch you. Yes, she is. Oh, and she's going to have her part to pay in the lake of fire. I wish it wasn't so. But she's in contradiction of the scriptures herself by teaching. But since you guys don't want to believe the scriptures, right? I have done just judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fall for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. How is he going to do that? By a spirit that you can't identify. By your feelings. No, <laughs> you poor fools. You willfully ignorant fools. Here are his statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding, departing from evil, that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way, and I do. I hate every false way. I hate Catholicism. I don't hate the Catholic, but I hate Catholicism. If you're an enemy of my Lord, you are my enemy. Hence, perfect hatred. Okay? We are to hate them with perfect hatred. If they hate our Lord, we are to hate them with perfect hatred. Okay? We are to cleave to that which is good and to abhor, Paul says that, we are to abhor that which is evil. And if someone has chosen Satan, they are deceived. We are to hate that which is evil, brethren. 
I know some of you struggle with that. I know that. And I, I don't hate people. I hate what they believe. I hate what they believe. Hence, perfect hatred. We hate what they believe because what they believe is a lie. And we hate lies. We hate every false way, brethren. Saul, okay, and Zadai. Psalm 119, Zadai. Uh, 137 unto 144. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. There ain't going to be one innocent person in hell. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Willfully, huh? My zeal. Are you zealous for the Lord and the truth of the scriptures? Thy word is very pure. Therefore thy servant loveth it. Purified in the furnace of earth. Purified seven times. What is that? The authorized version of the scripture. I am small and despised, yet do I not forget thy precepts. The righteous, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. <laughs> and we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, yeah, the righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. So, where do you get his commandments, his testimonies? By a spirit that you can't identify which is which, but you have to go to Diana to discern which. It's right here. And Shin. Psalm 119, Shin. I'm not going to give you the verses. Okay? I'm not going to give you the verses. I showed you. If you're following me along, you should be able to find this. Okay? If you don't have a head heading in your set of scriptures, princes have persecuted me without a cause. Oh, princes, principalities, the power of the air. Mm. But my heart standeth in awe of thy word. The word which is alive, made alive by the living God who speaks to us through it. Okay? I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. Amen. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. And see, these people are liars. We are to love what God loves and to hate what God hates. That's according to scripture, dear friend. You know it. Those of you who are the church and living God, you know that. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept, the, my soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Precepts and testimonies, commandments, okay, yeah. Statutes, commandments, precepts, testimonies, judgments. Where do you get all that? By a spirit you can't identify. By listening to a voice that you don't know which is which, but is claiming to be God. <laughs> um. Um, the, the Second Corinthians chapter twelve. Okay, Second Corinthians. And see, I, I've encountered this with these charismatics who believe that they that the Lord that they saw it and the Lord appeared to, to them, almost kind of similar to this. And you know, some of these people who these charismatics who God appeared to them, who are going off of what God is speaking to them, keep the scriptures on a shelf in a box. And only sporadically go to it. 
Ja. 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 Ja, yeah, uh, where is that? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Sorry about that. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 on to verse 15. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Oh, kind of like Jean Bashoff and Diana the Ephesians there. Uh, oh. uh, you know... Matthew 24, which is talking about the time of Jacob, Jacob's trouble. Um, you have to remember this. Now, Matthew chapter 24 is specifically talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. You can know that because in verse 13 in Matthew chapter 24 it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You and I today, in this dispensation, we do not have to endure to the end to be saved for anything. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. We are sealed unto the day of redemption. I bet you, I bet you, that little Princess Diana, goddess of the Ephesians over there, I bet you, she's against once saved, always saved. <laughs> I'll bet you, I'll bet you, the sin of presumption, right? To presume, you know. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you she teaches, just like her brother, Jean Bashoff, I bet you she teaches sinless perfection and no eternal security. <laughs> and see, brethren, we, we understand it's easy to refute these devils, but we have encountered, some of you in the comment section of one of my videos even, Excuse me. And one of the videos that the Lord gave me to do. Okay? <laughs> First John 5, verse 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So something is written here for us that we may know that we are saved and believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To believe on Jesus Christ. It's written for us. Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 and 5. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Christ, I am Christ. Someone going around going out there today, nowadays, saying, Hi, I'm Jesus Christ. Yeah, there are some people who are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs that do that. Yeah, there are. But every single time, what happens? People are like, up, oh, up. Oh. Hey, hey, officer, you come, come here, you, you, you might want to, hey, come here, I, there's this guy over here with a billy club and a little spray that he might spray in your face because he don't want you to hurt yourself or anything, but he wants to take you and put you in a nice white little padded room, okay? Okay? can almost say the same with those who think God psh, appeared to them. Satan or a devil appeared to you, friend. But that's old news, you're, you're on your way to hell anyway, so. And also in Matthew chapter 24, verses 23 and 24. Then if any man say unto you, lo, here is Christ. Christ, in this context, people aren't saying, I'm Christ. Christ means anointed one. Jehovah saves Jesus Christ, anointed the Lord's anointed. Christ means anointed one. Jean Bashoff. You want to know how to live according to his God? You had to go to him. 
You want to learn how to discern the spirits because you don't have the uh, final authority, a standard? All right, you got to go to him. Diana of the Ephesians there. The goddess of the Ephesians there. That Jezebel harlot witch. You want to know how to discern the spirits? You got to go to her. Christ means anointed one. Aren't there some Baptists out there who are claiming that they're anointed ones? Especially amongst the Charismatics. For if any man say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs, false anointed ones, and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that if, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And elect in this context is talking about the Jews, because Matthew chapter 24 is for the Jews, warning them about the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? And Psalm 50. See, I'm not concerned for your time. I'm not. I'm concerned where you're going to go. That's my concern. Psalm 50, verses 16 on to verse 19. <laughs> and this right here is the final rebuke unto all you fools who are following Bible is like a beast. The great goddess Diana of the Ephesians. This is the final rebuke on to you. Okay? Uh, if they comment in the comment section, leave them alone. Their damnation is just... They're, they're heaping cold... We're keeping holes, coals of fire upon their head. Leave them alone. Let them spew their idiocy. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Okay? Those of you who, who are graciously graciously our moderators for my little nothing channel here don't don't delete their comments leave them alone with these guys like that you know leave them alone psalm 50 but on to the wicked god said what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth Seen thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. That's exactly what you people are doing. When thou sawest a thief, then thou consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. And of course, <laughs> when thou sawest a thief. What about this thief? John chapter 10. John chapter 10. <clears throat> John chapter 10. Verses 1. On to verse 5 to start. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. You know, you boot the door out of the way. <laughs> but he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The door. And you're booting the door. Okay. <laughs> to him the porter, porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when the redemption of the purchased possession happens, he's going to call all of our names in the twinkling of an eye at the same time. How does he do that? He's God. He, he, can, he can do that. He can call my name, your name, all of our names at once. Brad, come up hither. To you. 
Alexander, come up hither. <laughs> Jeffrey, come up hither. <laughs> Philip, come up hither. <laughs> Karen, come up hither. <laughs> okay. You get the point. Okay? And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. And if someone doesn't speak according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. And if they're speaking contrary to this word, to the scriptures, they're lost. Some, some make mistakes. Some people, I've made mistakes. But when you got people who are saying, put down the book. And then using scripture <laughs> to make an argument. When they don't even believe what they're, come on, dude. Get saved. Okay. And verse 9. <laughs> And verse 10. I am the door. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the door. And you're booting the door. Brilliant, man. Brilliant. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in, into the church of the living God, and out at the redemption of the purchased possession, and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. And ultimately, brethren, Matthew chapter 15, just one verse. Man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, pity them, they are our enemies. Matthew chapter 15, two verses, 13 and 14. And see, these same devils will take these very scriptures and twist it and turn it back on us who are trying to warn them to get them to go to the true Christ of the scriptures by pointing them to the scriptures. The scriptures that point them to Jesus. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. In Acts, Acts chapter 28, <laughs> Paul in Rome, when he called his own people on to him, the people who should have known better. <clears throat> Acts chapter 28, verses 23 under verse 28. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. How did he do that? Uh, the law of Moses and out of the prophets? To the scriptures? And there were Jews in Rome? I can guarantee you they had copies of the scriptures. And from morning till evening. You know, in the book of Acts, it talks about how Paul was preaching till midnight. And some of you get a little worked up about ha having to sit through a video that's longer than nine minutes. <laughs> and some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed. After that, Paul had spoken one word. 
Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet unto our fathers, saying, and look what he's doing, he's quoting scripture. Go unto this people and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. Why? For the heart of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and they have, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. Another way, uh, the publicans and harlots will go into the kingdom of heaven before they will. This was not the video. This was kind of, kind of impromptu. The, the Lord had me to write down a few things, but uh, you know, there, there's not really much we can do, brethren. Just um, one, two, and leave them alone. If we are to pray for these people, if we are to pray for them, pray that the Lord destroy them. Pray that the Lord slay them. Not literally, but destroy their pride. Destroy that evil that's in them, that they may come to our Lord Jesus Christ, truly broken of their self-righteousness, having true godly sorrow, contrition, and in fear of the Lord, calling upon the name of the Lord, that he might save them. Pray for their breaking. But as far as Diana of the Ephesians, You, you don't reach that level of deception, being ignorant of the truth. Okay? You don't. That, that's, that doesn't happen. Okay? Like a lot of my enemies, not all of them, but a lot of them know the truth. There are those that sat amongst brethren and put on a good facade for a couple years and heard the true gospel and yet are lost and on their way to hell. <laughs> See, that level of deception only comes from knowing what the truth is and they're speaking against it. There's no hope for you. There's no hope for you. If there is hope, God's going to have to put you on a sinking submarine and maybe, maybe, there may be hope for you. But unless the Lord puts you on a sinking submarine, your damnation is just. And, and brethren, <laughs> don't, don't link these videos in any of their comment sections. Okay? Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I the heart your heart was in the right place, absolutely. They they have been warned. The information is out there. Let God do his work. So. Brethren, pray for us. Um my my wife recently uh right now as we speak has grown quite ill, um, uh, very bad. Uh, we're doing uh, black seed oil that a beloved brother uh, provided for us and uh, honey, turmeric, and black pepper. pepper. My wife is very sick. Um, if she gets worse, we're going to have no option um, but maybe go to an emergency room, which we do not want to do. Um, also, her wound is pretty much healed but there's an infection there a little and we're doing what we can so please keep my wife in prayer um, for uh, what's happening to her please keep us in your prayers as we pray for so many of you um, times that are coming are oh wow pray for one another brother we love you thank you for watching this if you do and if you are one of the the devoted disciples of this devil of this devil, um, Diana of the Ephesians there. I hope you repent. I hope you repent. Thank you. We love you. We'll see you in the next video.